Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. think they've solved the homicides of two brown deer brothers six months later they've arrested someone investigators relied on phone on the phone rather of the defendant jason calvey joins us now with how police say they use technology to pin the crime on a 19 old milwaukee man yeah when you connect to the internet or a cell phone tower or phone companies and apps keep that information now the criminal complaint says police reviewed the defendant's phone records data from instagram and other apps as well as iphone messages Brown Deer police say it shows the defendant was at the scene of the crime. Six months ago, two brothers were shot and killed, both at their Brown Deer home. Both were 18 years old. On September 1st, family found a Marion Brown dead in his bed. Hours later, police searched the scene and found Brown's brother, Charles Robinson, in a car, also killed. Now prosecutors charge a 19-year-old Milwaukee man with the homicides. Can you say your name for that? Joseph Tucker. The new criminal complaint relies on technology. It says Tucker's cell phone was using the cell tower just 1,700 feet from the crime scene until 2.30 in the morning, the day of the shootings. The complaint includes a screenshot of a lift request at 2.38 in the morning looking for a pickup at the homicide scene. At 4.40 in the morning, the complaint says the phone was connected to the Internet through the victim's home. Police say that's backed up by FaceTime, iCloud, and iMessage logs. The complaint says the mother of the victims heard a pop around 5 to 6 in the morning. Around that time, the complaint says Tucker was involved in stealing the family's Jeep. And it adds that surveillance video shows Tucker and an unnamed person abandoned the SUV at 545 that morning. Prosecutors say it's probable Tucker had an accomplice. This appears to have been a drug deal gone bad. The criminal complaint doesn't mention that, nor does it give a motive. If convicted, Joseph Tucker could be locked up for the rest of his life. Do you understand the penalties to each count? Yes, ma'am. Now, in court, Tucker's attorney said Tucker had no prior criminal records, and the attorney reminded the court Tucker was presumed presumed innocent. Now, the court commissioner set bail at half a million dollars, and she ordered Tucker have no contact with the Brown family or the witnesses. Tucker is back in court next Thursday. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.